Hi there, in this video we will continue our discussion about the uh, consolidation of financial statements. We will see a bigger example than the previous three examples that we have made in the previous video that will show you the consolidation of the balance sheet with the consolidation journal entry. So with this in mind, let us take a look on the data we have in this exercise that the parent company acquired 80% of the subsidiary company and they paid cash 300 to 400 on January 1st. And now we see here the balance sheet on January 2nd, which means that there is no time gap between the consolidation of financial statement and the acquisition. So here we see the common stock 188, the retained earnings 190, and the investment 300 to 400, which is mentioned here. So the amount didn't fluctuate because it's only one day difference. What is the journal entry? We need to make it here for the acquisition and consolidation. We need to close off those two accounts. So common stock and retained earnings are credit accounts. They are shareholders equity and they have credit balance. That's fine. And I have the investment here, as you can see, it's a debit balance because it's an asset. The difference between those two uh, numbers of equity and one account in asset goes to the NCR. Why? Because we own 80%. So the non-controlling interest is 20%. They must show up in the closing end. So here is the journal. We say debit common stock debit retained earnings by their balances, credit investment, and then credit additional paid in capital. Uh, no, I'm sorry, this one, it should be non-controlling interest. Uh, yep, it's the non-controlling, non-controlling, And here we can see the amounts, everything is the same. Now we need to take these amounts and go here to the financial statement, the balance sheet. When we add, we can see the cash, receivables, inventory are the same. We just add the parent balance with the subsidiary balance. For the investment, it will offset each other so the investment doesn't show up as well as the common stock and the retained earnings. And here we can see the, uh, the non-controlling balance. But now we see another amount, the 9,000 of depreciation. Where do you get this 9,000? In fact, we get them from here. So the depreciation of the subsidiary company must be closed off to their assets. So we credit the asset balance and debit the accumulated depreciation to close it off. And by doing that, we add and we get the total assets 1,257,000 and the same thing for the equity account. So please remember the acquisition date, the acquisition journal, the distribution of the equity side common stock and retained earnings between the parent company and the subsidiary company. In the assignment, you might see a similar example. So I hope you do well in the assignment. Also, I keep encouraging you, please, when you watch this video, don't copy my answers, but take a minute to stop the video, go through the answer, and then review it with mine. Thank you. Bye-bye.